Hey guys, it's Kevin here in Japan, and um, I'm sitting here in my place, just uh, relaxing. Uh, actually, um, to be honest, I haven't been haven't been relaxing. I've been um, working. Uh, you can see my hand on my mouse. My mouse is right by the camera. It's my iPhone. <clears throat> um, yeah, so um, I got a message on my Facebook page today asking me if, if I'm aware of everything that's been going on in Ferguson, Illinois. Um, today, of, of course I have. You know, it's it's all of the news. And <clears throat> although I live far away, I've got many um, news apps on my iPhone. And they all send me, like, push notifications. So I've got, like, BBC, Canadian ones, like CBC, CTV, HuffPost, uh, Globe and Mail. I've got Reuters. I've got a whole bunch so they're all sending me push notifications and I was asked like do things like this happen in Japan like are there riots in Japan or race riots race related riots that kind of thing civil unrest <clears throat> and uh, have I ever seen it and in the six years I've been in Japan absolutely not I have not seen anything like it I think there's a few reasons behind that I think um, part of that has to do with the cultural makeup of Japan um, Japan is a very homogenous society. I mean, it's kind of a, a one-race society, really. Whether you're Japanese or you're not. Most are Japanese. I think, I don't know the exact numbers. I think it's something like 1% of the population are foreigners or of non-Japanese origin. So obviously it's a very different racial makeup than a country like America or Canada or, uh, you know the UK, things like that, so I think there, the concept of, of kind of racial unrest within the country isn't so prevalent. Now there, there, are, there are some aspects of kind of, unra of racial unrest. Uh, for example, there is a fairly big kind of ethnic Korean population and there are some kind of right-winged Japan or Japanese people who don't like them. Um, Sometimes there are extreme right-wing kind of Japanese people who will actually, you know, protest uh, the uh, presence of, of people of Korean origin here in Japan or Chinese people. Um, it tends to be kind of, from what I've seen, kind of focused towards those two ethnic groups, Chinese and Korean. And I've seen some kind of mild protests never seen a riot I mean protest just people kind of you know loudly voicing their negative opinions towards a certain social group and when I have seen that I've always seen a very massive and strong police presence um, much stronger and bigger than the actual group of protesters um, I think Japanese people tend not to protest so much I mean there's this kind of shogunai attitude shogunai is just kind of well, you know what? That's just the way it is. Nothing we can do about it, so we just deal with it and suck it up. Um, I think a lot of people were even surprised when uh, a few years ago, after when the whole kind of after the earthquake and tsunami happened, when there was a big nuclear disaster in the Fukushima in, in Fukushima, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactor. Um, there, they actually there were there were big, well, relatively big um, anti-nuclear protests in Tokyo, and that was the fact that people at all were protesting was kind of a shock to Japanese people that some people were protesting because normally it doesn't happen. Now what's interesting. It's you know it's, it's a, it tends to be a, I think a cultural thing. I mean, if people aren't willing to protest, they're probably not going to riot. And I know that in the past, I'm sure there have been riots. Uh, I'm not really uh, what I call a student of history uh, at least here in Japan but I mean I lived in Korea and I mean there is a country that riots all the time and I think that has to do with kind of the cultural makeup of the fact that the present-day Korea is a country that was built through protests it was a democracy that was fought for and won through rioting and protesting I mean up until the 1990s early 1990s Korea was a military dictatorship and it was the people fighting in the streets fighting the military fighting the police fighting the, the you know the, the the government the the military government that's how they became a free Korea so they got that and I think there's more to it than that even just um, you know just kind of a cultural makeup but 
I mean, in Korea, they do riot and they do protest. And they'll riot over what we might even think are things that we would, in Canada, America, people would never riot over. They'll riot over. But again, I think it's a culture that's used to fighting for everything, right? So uh, in Japan, it's not the case. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it's, it is really apples and oranges. I mean, they're both countries, America, Japan. But when it comes to something like what's happening with the, the Michael Brown you know, thing in, in Ferguson, you, you can't even compare them. I mean, there's nothing like that here. Um, at all. Uh, yeah, so, but there it goes. So an interesting question. I hope um, you found my video response uh, an interesting one. And there we go, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe. It's Kevin here in Japan. Uh, check all the links below in the description box. Check out the podcast, Just Japan Podcast, everything you want to know about Japan. That's a, a key thing. And uh, that's it for me for tonight.